What's up everybody, Nick here. Wanted to show everybody what I've been working on for the past month or so. I got back into shooting uh, about three or four months ago and something that I got out of a long time ago and I regretted it. And now that I'm getting back into it, seems like the AR-15 platform is kind of the king of the, of the hill. I chose to start with uh, Smith & Wesson m and 15. It's the Sport 2. So it's got some nice upgrades from the original. And one of the things that I really liked about it was out of the box it comes with the forward assist, with the dust cover, and a Magpul M-Bus rear sight. It's got the standard iron sight up front. I added the red dot scope with a cantilever mount um, it's actually got uh, a red, blue, and green reticle with three different powers. Uh, it works pretty good so far. Uh, I did get a nice case for it because I love protecting my things. It's got spots on the outside for up to five 30-round magazines. I will keep one inside the bag, so I'll have six with me at all times for 180 rounds. You'll notice that I opted for Magpul furniture, um, mostly. Uh, started with this Mo SL buttstock. It'll suit me well, and if I ever decide get it to get into the QD mounts, uh, it has one of those built in. I added the Mo SL forend, and then I got the angled grip and the hand grip. I Kind of like both of them, and I laid it out, and I was able to fit both, so I got both. Got the Magpul, or the original Magpuls, literally. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of that FDE look, or flat dark earth, in the bottom. Just a little bit here and there. I, I like that coloration. And then I did not go with a Magpul grip. And the reason why was because I personally like the finger notches. Um, and it just felt better in my hand. Um, I'm not particular to any one brand specifically, but I've seen quite a few guys using this MFT brand. And I also bought this one point sling mount. Uh, it allows you to just take off the butt stock, slide it over the buffer tube, and there's a set screw uh, like an Allen screw that holds it nice and tight into the indent uh, and right over the buffer tube. It doesn't, it appears that it messes with the uh, um, the threads on the buffer tube, but it doesn't. Um, back towards the back here, there's flattened out area where when you're undoing the castle nut, it will come off uh, to allow it to just slide over. And then I got the one point sling itself. This is a Voodoo Tactical. Uh, seemed to be the best brand that I could find at my local sportsman's uh, warehouse. The buckles are nice and tight. I've kind of done a, a pressure test on it. These are double bungees on the inside. You can kind of feel down there. And then I also got some extra magazines. I didn't know which were the best, so I got you know, a couple with the windows in them. Um, and then I got a few, actually four, because that one. Um, of just the 30 round standard uh, PMAG Gen 2s. I actually kind of like the Gen 2s over the Gen 3s, at least the look of them. And then I also wanted to get the original mag poles themselves. Um, it's got the flash suppressor up front. Um, it's got, there's no um, cutouts in the bottom, so if you're shooting on the ground, it's not going to kick up a ton of dust, but it does have the uh, cutouts there. Uh, in the top standard carbine length uh, standard iron sights and well I guess that's pretty much everything um, seems like I've been working on it forever when I look at it, it looks like it's pretty straightforward but there's just so many options for these things that uh, it's hard to make decisions I had no idea but it seems like something right up my alley. I like accessories, I like things that look cool, I like shooting, I don't like paying for ammunition. <laughs> That's a problem that I've been having lately is just cannot believe how much ammo costs have gone up 
in the past three or four years. And at about approximately 40 cents a round, this can be a fairly expensive way to, to shoot. Comparatively though to large rifles and whatnot, it's not that bad, but I think because of you know how the gun works and how quickly you can shoot, you can go through 20, 30 rounds in a matter of seconds. So anyhow, um, just wanted to share with everyone. I know it's been a while since I put a video out. Um, you know, I went on vacation to Europe, uh, came back, had a bunch of, you know, just work stuff. And to be honest with you, I put out like 22 videos in about a one month period and I was just, just getting tired of it. <laughs> and so I want to take a bit of a break. But um, although not tool related, I used all my a lot of my tools to you know work on this and have fun, and I like to take care of it after I shoot it. I do like to clean it every time. I'm one of those guys, um, you know, my handguns as well. I, I like to clean those as I go. Um, one thing that I'm gonna I'll try and show you here is the uh, red dot scope. This is a, a scope, and it's it guys, it's not high end. Um, at all. Uh, it was just something I wanted to try. It's uh, called Trinity Force. And one thing that I liked about it was it has, if I can get it to focus here, it has uh, three, two, and one powers in green, red, and if I can see it here, uh, you can't see. But on the other side, there is blue as well. And um, I just liked uh, the fact that it had the three different colors because depending upon the background that you have, sometimes um, red is not the best color. Uh, I was at the range the other day and I realized I was shooting up against a target that had a bunch of, of, of green and red on it. And I thought, wow, uh, blue might be a good option. So anyhow, um, you guys let me know what you think about it. If you think it looks cool, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you think it's lame, let me know why. Pretty sure no one will think that. It's, at the bare minimum, it's an AR-15 and they're cool as hell anyway. So, you know, unfortunately too, um, somebody told me now about how we do the conversions to a 300 uh, blackout and those seem pretty cool. Um, just literally swapping out the barrel and a couple other little things and you can upgrade this to shoot basically the best of both worlds between a 5.56 and a AK-47. Um, 300 blockout has a much larger bullet but the same casing just shorter uh, as a 5.56 and um, you know, obviously a, a heavier bullet, more knockdown power. It's a little slower uh, than the 5.56 five, just because uh, it's a shortened case. But I think ballistically, um, it's really kind of one of the standards that our military is mo uh, moving to. And uh, a nice upgrade to do for my understanding, you know, 2, 250 um, to, get a new, to get a new barrel and, of course, some install. I probably wouldn't do that myself. I would probably take it at this point to a gunsmith. I do real minor things. You know, I can do the full tear down on this. Do you know take my my um you know the tear down pins out, clean it, pull the bolt carrier group apart. But when it starts coming to pulling out, you know, torque specified pieces like the barrel and roll pins that uh, I have no idea, you know, <laughs> um you know what is underneath it when I take it apart I'd rather at least take it to a you know someone certified so that they can uh, you know let me know uh, how to do it uh, most guys are pretty cool with explaining how things work and uh, you know I think if 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 I could do one thing differently and you guys let me know what you think but uh, you can get this in the uh, flat dark earth uh, from Magpul and I don't know, I, I like it black, but I also think it's lacking a little bit of color uh, from the uh, you know top of the uh, rifle here. 
Um, but I don't know. I don't really think I'll use it too much. But anyhow, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a new uh, charging handle at some point. Maybe a new bolt carrier group. I kind of like the ones that are a little more um, like stainless steel looking. But I don't know. A lot of guys think the flat black is cool too. Not that I'm going to find myself in any tactical situations. But anyhow, uh, maybe little by little I'll show you guys or spotlight a couple of the handguns that I have. I have a, a few cool ones, some rifles, some shotguns. And I try to accessorize every single one of them. I just think accessories for them, make them personal, and I like to have things that not everyone else has. Um, you know, I'm sure other others have done this, but, you know, what are the chances of it being, you know, exactly what I have? Uh, there's less of a chance when I start adding more of my own accessories. So, anyhow, uh, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Just wanted to share this. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, sorry for the delay. I am still trying to come up with something for 100 subscribers. Um, because of my hiatus, I kind of lost a little traction on that. And there's just been so much stuff going on in all the other guys' channels and all this YouTube crap going around. And Justin Dow dropping his channel. And man, it, it just kind of sucked. Um, I guess he didn't really drop it, but I, I just uh, I hope it doesn't burn to the ground as he uh, <laughs> as he is uh, saying it might. Uh, I know I, I will still watch it, um, you know. And uh, anyhow, um, I guess I just got out of the whole YouTube thing for a little while. wasn't wasn't fun anymore. So anyhow, I thought I'd do this tonight. You guys have a great night. Have a good weekend, uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.